Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. It is I, the Umbreon Messiah, your host, and today we begin Chapter 1, Footsteps of Fate. The apprentice tactician, Athrin, and the young sword fighter, Lin. A strange pair on an even stranger journey. To prepare for the long road ahead, they go to Bulgar, the commercial center of Sakai. Unbeknownst to Lin, she will discover something that will alter her life forever. Na -na. Footsteps of Fate And a jaunty tune begins as we step into Bulgar. Atherin, over here! This is Bulgar, the biggest city in all of Sakai. We should purchase supplies for our journey. Oh my heart! What a dazzling vision of loveliness! I love you. <laughs> hmm? Wait, oh beauteous one! Wouldn't you not favor me with your name? Or better yet, your company! Where are you from, Sir Knight, that you should speak so freely to a stranger? Ha! I thought you'd never ask! I am from Lycia! I hail from the Kalen Canton, home to men of passion and fire! Shouldn't that be home to callow oafs with loose tongues? Ooh, you're even lovely when you're cruel. Let's go, Atherin. I've nothing more to say. Wait, please! Sane! Hold your tongue! Ah, Kent, my boon companion! Why so severe an expression? If your manner were more serious, I wouldn't have to be so severe. We still have a mission to complete, Sane. I know that, but how could I remain silent in the presence of such a beauty? It would have been discourteous! What do you know of courtesy? Excuse me, you're blocking the road. If you would be so kind as to move your horses. Of course, my apologies. Thank you. You at least seem honorable enough. Hmm? Pardon me, but I feel we've met before. I beg your pardon? Hey, no fair, Kent! I saw her first! Ugh. It seems there are no decent men among Lycia's knights. Let's go, Atherin. I've run out of patience. Wait, please! It's not like that! Ugh, sane, you lout! Huh? Not like that. I, I thought you were... I am not you! Come, we must follow her. I suspect she might be... Be what? She's our mission?! You're joking! Wait! So yes, meet Sane and Kent. Run! We're being pursued! Could it be those knights from town? No, it's not them. These men are out for blood! Uh. <laughs> Ain't you the pretty one? Your name is Lindis, is it not? What did you call me? Who are you? Such a waste. An absolute waste. The things I'll do for gold. Ah well, time to die, darling. Come on, boys! Oh, that's a lot of brigands. Oh no, there are more than I can handle. But I'll not give up. Hey! There she is! Huh? What? Whew! Finally caught up! Hold you there! What is your business? Such numbers against a girl? Cowards, every one of you! You, you're from... We can discuss that later. It appears these ruffians mean to do you harm. If it's a fight they want, let them look to me. Stand back! I'll take care of this! No, this is my fight! Stay out of my way! Well, I can't just stand here and do nothing. I have a solution. You there, command us! I am Kent, a knight of Lycia. My companion is sane. We'll follow your orders in this battle. Is this acceptable, milady? Yes, it is. Atherin and I will lead. Let's go! Alright. Now we actually have control of two new units. Sane and Kent, who are, as you will see, horsemen. That's not their actual name, but... You! You are called Atherin! I want to impress my beauteous one. Let me attack first! Blue units are allies. Direct them on the field as you did with Lin before. Be warned. If Lin is defeated, your journey is over, as is your game. If other blue units are beaten, the game will continue, but fallen companions will be unable to return to battle for the rest of their tutorial. Use caution and good judgment. And after all blue units have been moved, it automatically becomes the enemy's turn. 
To begin with, select Sane. Place the cursor on Sane and press the A button. Player phase. All right, Sane's over here, and he is what's called a Cavalier. Cavalier are mounted knights with superior movement, and they are basically the most balanced unit in the game, being able to use both swords and lances from the beginning, and just being overall badass. Sane, however, is a goofball. Attack! Move me to a space next to my foe! I can't help but use that voice for Sane, I'm sorry. Now, here is where we learn an interesting thing. First, Sane has an iron lance, but you'll notice that Sane has a very different chance to hit this brigand than Lin would. And you'll also notice from the picture that Sane has a little down arrow on his lance and the bandit has an up arrow on his axe. And you'll soon see what this is about as the tutorial will explain. No, I missed! Ow, my face! One experience point. Whoa, I missed? Sane, why aren't you using your sword? The lance is more heroic. A knight should look heroic, don't you think? You're hopeless. If you don't take fighting more seriously, you're going to find yourself on the end of a blade! Truth be told, I... I forgot to buy a sword. Forgot? Were you simply too busy dallying with the ladies? Don't be so mad! I'll be fine with the lance! I'm that good! I'd prefer to rely on your skill, not your empty bragging! Take my spare blade and use it to attack next time! Are you sure? My thanks, Kent! You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Almost. Got an iron sword. Now, if you do this in hard mode, you actually don't get the spare sword. So it's a little trickier in that respect. But other than that... Atherin! Allow me to make up for my companion's blunder. I am at your command. Weapons possess a unique hierarchy. And here's where we learn about the weapon triangle. Swords best axes. Axes best lances. Lances best swords. This is called the weapon triangle. Remembering this is of the utmost importance. First, let's illustrate that swords are strong against axes. Select Kent. The enemy wields an axe. Use a sword for my attack! Now, as you'll see, things have switched around here. Kent now has the up arrow on his weapon, and the bandit has the down arrow on his axe. The bandit has an extremely low chance to hit us and deals a little less damage. Whereas we deal a little more damage and have an absolutely perfect chance to hit. Go, Kent! Whoosh! And we get 10 experience points. He's almost defeated. Now let's deliver the final blow. Which will come from Lin, obviously. hi -yeah! Slash! Whoosh missed with a 16% chance. The 16% chance comes from the fact that she's standing in the forest and gains an extra 20% evasion. And a little extra defense, too. Alright, now the enemies are moving. Nothing too spectacular. Atherin, give me another chance! Well, as you will see now, Sane does have an iron sword, so... Axe-wielding foes should be met with swords. Brandish your blade! And that's exactly what we'll do. Hi you! Oh, I missed. Yeah, the game kind of does its best to make fun of Sane. Gah! Sane, are you all right? Yes, yes, I am. I was able to dodge in time. I can't believe he evaded my sword stroke so easily. This is no jest. Look closely. The enemy is hidden in the woods. The branches make it difficult to attack, don't they? You're right. I was so focused on attacking, I didn't see. Your lack of attention may someday cost you your life! Fine, I understand already. Let it go, Kent! If you truly understand, then act like it! Kent worries too much. He's going to grow old before his time. Each type of terrain has unique characteristics. For example, look at the woods and plains. Battle an enemy from the woods and the enemy will likely miss you. However, your attacks will be unimpeded, giving you a distinct advantage. The same is true for foes. If an enemy is in the woods, he is more difficult to hit. Factoring in your terrain benefits and the weapon triangle is vital in combat. The window at the bottom of the screen gives information on the terrain the cursor is placed on. Check to see what terrain type is advantageous by using the cursor. Now let's put this to the test. Select Kent! I'm ready for battle. Command me as you will! Now as we go over here, you'll see that forest provides one defense and avoid 20, whereas planes provide nothing. So the game is not lying to you. 
Iron Sword to the face! Whoosh! It seems like a wise decision to leave that bandit to the knights. Well, yes it does. For my part, if I'm going to take care of the other foe, I'll need to close the distance between us. The knights said that woods are advantageous, right? In that case... That looks good! Let's move there, Atherin! And there we mo shall move! And now it is the enemy phase! Lashing out at Kent... BAM! Sword to the jaw! The other bandit will try his best to move close to Lin. You, your name is Sane, right? Yes, Sane the Gallant Man of Kaelin. That's me! If you insist, why have you not healed yourself? Huh? Hey! I've been injured! What a cat I am! To wrinkle that perfect brow of yours with worry for me. Uh... I was thinking of giving you a vulnerary, but... It looks like you're fine, so never you mind. No, wait! I'll take it! Please! I'll take it! To give away an item, use the trade command. Trade can only be used by units that are adjacent to one another. Let's use the trade command now. Select Sane and move him next to Lin. Well, personally, I would rather use Sane to finish off this bandit, as it would be perfectly safe, but the game's not gonna let me. I can't keep such a generous offer waiting. The healing power of love awaits with yon angel. Atherin, tarry no longer! As you can tell, Sane is something of an idiot. Now select the trade command. Sane's and Lin's possessions will be displayed together. Use the cursor to select a vulnerary from Lin's items and give it to Sane. After you've finished your trade, press the B button to end the process. The B button is the cancel button. It can be used to rescind mistaken commands and other things. Ta-da! So, we move over to Lin... Oh, still telling me how to do things. Press the A button to accept... Blah, 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 there we go. The B button. Sane can now use Lin's vulnerary. Select the vulnerary from the items and use it! Hiya! It was completely unnecessary. Furthermore, mountain units have the unique ability to move again. Essentially, this allows cavalry to move the number of spaces left in their movement range if they haven't done so already. However, the attack command, among others, nullifies the move again ability, so be careful. Select Sane and order him to move again. Ah, much better. Thanks, Atherin! And you have my gratitude as well, my angel. <sighs> Doop. Mission goals change from chapter to chapter. This chapter's goal is to defeat all enemies. Check the chapter goals in the window in the upper right of the screen. To open the map menu, place the cursor on an unoccupied space and press the A button. You can confirm the chapter goals here by choosing status from the menu. The map menu also has the suspend command. This is useful if you need to stop a chapter midway. Time to continue this chapter. Best of luck! Alright. So, we're just gonna have Sane smack this guy up. Sword to the jaw! Good old 30 experience points. And we're gonna sneak land into this forest and wait up. Uh-oh. Looks like he went after Sane. Luckily for me, Sane is awesome! Alright, time to finally get Sane a kill. So we'll put him here and attack with the Iron Sword. Tally ho! Mwahaha! And there you go. Alright, so we're gonna move Kent a little closer to this bandit. Ah, I guess we'll move here. And we're gonna slip Lin into this forest and wait. Now the bandit's gonna come out and take a swipe at Kent. Missed, though. And Kent's going to return with a blow from the sword. Alright, now the question here is, can we get Sane in position? And no, we can't. Kent is still level 1, and so is Sane, so I don't really mind. Uh, let's see if Lin can hit him. Nope, alright. We're just going to move Lin here then, and... Draw Kent up here, and smack him with the sword again. Hiya! Whoosh! As you can tell, Kent is very close to leveling up. And this bandit's going to be a fool and attack Kent again. Ow! Well, I didn't expect that. But you know, the unexpected stuff happens in Fire Emblem. And there's our level up. Kent gains. Wow. 
a really good level up. Now, I guess now is the time to explain how leveling up works, since that's really the second time you've seen it. Each character is unique in the fact that when they level up, they have a certain chance of gaining each stat, like a 30% chance every level up to get more strength or something like that. So certain units tend to end up better at the end game than others, or simply grow in different fashions. Uh, I believe Kent gets better skill and speed than Sane, but Sane gets better strength growths, etc., etc. I don't know if that's actually true or not. But, and that's just all the skills he has. So each level up, you may see different stats, and since it's all up to luck, a character that normally is good can also end up pretty bad. So it's all really preference. Anyway, we're going to move Kent up here and take some swings with our iron sword. Now, K Sane, uh, Kent, sorry, now has enough speed to be delivering double attacks. Now the problem is if I do this, Kent's just going to mop the floor with this guy, and I would rather he not do that because I want Sane to have a chance to kill him. And the bandit will obviously attack Kent again, given the opportunity. So let's see how much Sane does. 10, this will be perfect. So let's move Kent in for an iron sword attack. A cursed knight's always tampering in others' affairs. Whoosh, to the head. Ow. All right, this leaves him in perfect killing range for Sane. Go Sane. Raw ungentlemanly behavior! Blast! There was only supposed to be a lone girl! And down he goes, and Sane gets a level! Dun da 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 dun! Yes, as you can tell, uh, Sane's level up was definitely not as impressive as Kent's. But that is the end of Chapter 1. That's the last of them! Fantastic work, Atherin! And now for these knights of Lycia. You were going to share your story with me? Yes. We have ventured from Kaelin in Lycia in search of someone. Lycia? That's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to the Lady Madeline, who eloped with a nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Our lord, the Marquess of Kaelin's only daughter. He was heartbroken his own daughter would abandon him so. Eventually, the Marquess simply declared that he had no daughter. And then this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and their daughter were living happily on the Sakai Plains. The Marquess was ecstatic to learn he had a granddaughter of 18 years. I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. This was also the name of the Marquess's wife, who passed away at an early age. Lindis? That she should bear his name thawed the Marquess. Oh, this name. Thawed the Marquess's heart. Now his only wish is to meet his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days after sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulgar. But we also learned all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. We heard that she was living alone on the plains. I... I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I never met her directly, but I saw her portraits in Castle Kaelin. To the rest of my tribe, I was always Lynn. But when I was with my parents, when it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. It's all so strange. I was all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather. Lindis. I never thought I'd hear that name again. Wait! That bandit, he called me Lindis too! What? How could he have... He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, wasn't he? Lundgren? Who's that? He's the Marquess's younger brother. Everyone assumed the Lady Madeline was gone forever. This made Lord Lundgren heir to the Marquess's title. To be blunt, milady, your existence is an obstacle to your granduncle's ambitions. That's... but I have no interest in inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your granduncle is not the sort of man to believe that. 
I believe the attempts on your life will persist. What should I do? Accompany us to Kaelin. Continuing on this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I'll go with you. <laughs> Atherin, I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do, Atherin? You want me to decide? Of course your companionship would do much to ease my journey, but it's going to be so dangerous. You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you! Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of chapter one. Tune in next time in Fire Emblem when we do chapter two. Sword of Spirits. <laughs>